This is Anderson Penn's podcast episode 99 for Tuesday, April 15th, 2014. This is Brian. This is Lisa. This is the Anderson Penn's Radio Network. We're going to ink it up and talk about pens and pen shows and all sorts of cool stuff. Awesome. Awesome. <laughs> okay, what? thanks for joining us. <laughs> <laughs> We're all done here. <laughs> I can't hear you very well. Uh, yeah, you sound like uh, you're talking into a tin can. So. Uh, it must be my cold. Um, no, I don't think so, but <laughs> something's going on. All right. <clears throat> um, so we just got back from uh, yet another yeah. pen show, Atlanta. Woohoo! <laughs> Go ahead and say it. One of my favorite pen shows of all time. Go ahead. <laughs> Are you making fun of me? Because I think you're making fun of me. Uh, pretty much, yeah. You say that about every show. It's a really good show. It is a good Was show. Was it not a good show? Jimmy and his team put on a great show. It's you know, it's 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 a little bit of sunshine uh, oh. in a much needed time of the year. Yes. Um, um, so I mean, you know. And Jimmy's so sweet. He is. And they they put on a good show. There was definitely traffic. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Uh, there's yeah. a lot of traffic going down. Oh, you mean at the show? Okay. <laughs> yes, at the show, genius. A uh, little bit of a slump on on Saturday, though. Uh, Saturday afternoon, yeah, a little bit. Yeah, but, uh, but it was good to have a little break. It was. Uh, so what? We left Thursday um, night. Yep, Thursday. I don't remember what we forgot this time, but we... Uh, uh, we, we left three sailor pens on top of the display, and we left the uh, sample ink uh, on top of the Parker case. Yeah, but we went back. It was for the um, iPhone case with the stylus. Oh, uh, yes. Yeah, we ended up, but we weren't out of town, so that's not so bad this time. Um, and then we just finally got on the road and drove. Got there, what time, 9-ish, 8.30? Yeah, it was about uh, 8.30 local time, I think, when we pulled in mm -hmm. um, to Atlanta. And uh, got there, and, and the nice thing about Atlanta is is there's a door that leads out to the parking lot that's directly across from where our table is. So we can park uh, into in the lot. Yeah. And nice. just... Boom! In the door, and it's literally it's it's three feet. So um, that works out. Um, and we were there early enough that there we, we didn't have to walk around anybody. I mean, just a little bit of Jimmy's table there on the edge. Yeah. Uh, but uh, it worked out really well. Um, and uh, and you know, it didn't really get going until I guess that it started at ten, right? So or noon. I don't noon, remember. Maybe it was noon. Yeah. It just there there wasn't a lot of people there right away, which worked out. Um, it was nice. Yeah, yeah, it was nice, and uh, we were able to get everything set up. Uh, and you were a little wandering around and chit-chatting with our, our friends, and yeah, and some uh, little uh, rummaging around at the alpha table. You know, it's a good thing we're not going to see Kenny for a while. Um. So yeah, so out in the hallway, right past the uh, the registration desk. Uh, is uh, Ken Jones, uh, vice president of sales for Yaffa, and he's got you know the the normal assortment of stuff, and uh, so we go there with a the shopping <sighs> list. And, um, we never stick to the list. We never stick to our budget, and we come back with arms full of pens. Well, yeah, I mean you know, and he's hey, listen, bringing pens over. Yeah, you need this. You got to have okay. this. So, okay, you know. Yeah, uh, he'd make a really good. I don't know. Pusher. Salesman? <laughs> <laughs> you should have this. Okay. All right. Whatever. Whatever. Um, no, no. It was re really cool. He had some cool stuff. Uh, and, and now uh, we have cool stuff. And now we have cool stuff that I'm working on. Um, hopefully this week uh, I will be able to get some of it up. Uh, but there's like at least, I don't know, I think we have 30 or 40 new uh, new pens and, 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 and all sorts of stuff that uh, I'm going to put up on the website. But... Anyway, uh, let's let's talk more about the show. So, Atlanta is uh, split up into two rooms. Uh, I guess you'd call them the smaller and the larger room, although the larger room isn't too much bigger than the smaller room. 
No, um, not too much bigger. Not too much bigger. And so uh, in our room, we have uh, Jimmy Dolo from Total Office Products. He's the, the, the sponsor of the show. Uh, and, he, and he's got an, a nice spread. Uh, but Mike Matsuyama is right behind us. Um, John Colton, the, the Omos guy, is in that room. Uh, oh, Frank yeah. Christoph is in that room. Um, uh, Martin Ferguson is doing repairs. He was in that room. Uh, and, uh, and and a bunch of Mike, other people. Mike and Mimi Turkington behind us. Mimi oh, yeah. is the world's best baker. Oh, my God. Okay, so seven minutes in, she made these killer brownies on Sunday. <laughs> this lemon pound cake that was to die for. I'm telling you, man. Every like, year. Oh, yeah. Let me grab one of these for Lisa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I never got it. Yeah, you did. Um, you got half of it. I did. Okay. The um, last year, Mimi made uh, a different, like a, a pound cake, a couple different cakes and brownies and stuff, and she'd bring them in every day. I, I'm telling you, she should open her own bakery. Well, she's, she's too busy selling me pens. I know, but she's she, she and Mike are so sweet and so awesome. They were fun to talk to. Funny. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we had a good time last year. We had a good time this year. It's it's really great to um, always be in the same spot uh, because, you know, we were with uh, Jimmy and Janice again of Total Office. We were with Mike and Mimi. Um, you know, you're just in the same place with the same people and, and you know, so you just kind of pick right up um, where you left off last year. Yeah. So, it was cool. Or the last show, for that matter. Well, yeah. In some cases. Either way. Um, yeah. So, yeah, they're, they're real cool. Um, they had a cool, very cool uh, Parker Lucky Curve case I had never seen before. Very early. Um, I took a picture of it, I think, but uh, I didn't post it. Really neat case, and of course, it's not for sale. Um, but uh, neat case, uh, and some cool pens we'll talk about in a little bit. But uh, Friday was pretty, uh, you know, I mean, it was a reasonable, steady business once we got uh, got everything going, a lot of steady flow of traffic in there. I wouldn't call it busy, but it, no. it was nicely steady, and just to know that, that there are people who are, are leaving work early or taking a day off or... Uh, whatever, um, it's it's nice to have some some traffic, but it's nice to not be too busy, so you can spend some time in chit chat. Yep. So um, so Friday ends at five, and uh, actually, I'm sitting there talking, um, and uh, I actually you never, you never sit. Well, yeah, I I. Uh, I made my first pen purchase on Friday. What'd you buy? <laughs> Bye. I don't remember. Yeah, so I bought um, from Mike. Uh, oh. I'm looking down at his table and I see this black chased hard rubber pen. Oh, that's right. And I look at it and I'm on this I'm on this quest, right? Because I have this this killer pen that you know, don't laugh. I'm not laughing. Trust me. Does it have a nib? Everybody in the audience wants to know, does it have a nib? It has a nib. Okay, so check it out. Yeah. It does? Yeah, okay. Get Sorry, it out. Man. Here it is. I've been, I bought, got this pen in trade uh, last year in Raleigh, and it's an Aiken Lambert Mercantile safety pen with the original paper label. Ooh, I didn't know tires came with labels. They do. Uh, okay. No, no cap. It's model number two. It sold for $3. Um, Did model number three sell for two dollars? Um, I can tell you because I think I have model number three. Okay. Model number three, three A sold for four dollars. Oh. I think. Dollar. All right. Anyway, All right, so you bought this pen. Anyway, so I'm looking for the cap and I look down on the table and here's here's a safety and it's about the right size mm -hmm. and what I'm looking for is since Waterman made safeties for Aiken Lambert. All I have to do is find a Waterman 42 safety without the imprint on the cap, which a lot of them have, and I have the cap for my pen, and I have a complete minty paper band labeled Aiken Lambert. So okay. I look down, and I see this pen, and it's got chasing on it, and I keep turning it and turning it and turning it and turning it, and all I see is nothing but pure black goodness. There's no imprint on the cap whatsoever, and so... 
I look down, and sure enough, here it is in all its glory. It's a mint Aiken Lambert Mercantile Safety. Uh, yes, complete with nib. <laughs> there it all is. All your friends know you, honey. <laughs> it's a nib. Um, with the cap, I mean, it's it's minty, uh, and uh, we talked about it for a while, and went back and forth, and this and that, and how much do you want to pay? Well, I don't know how much is it worth, and yada 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 yada. yada. And uh, eventually came down to that he wanted a Lamy 2000, which I happen to have, uh, and so we made we made an even up trade Lamy 2000 for the uh, the Aiken Lambert safety. So I'm very uh, very pleased to have that. Now I have uh, the full a complete full size model. Uh, for the Aiken Lambert collection, so that cool. was my first purchase. And as I'm sit standing there, I'm ch chatting with them. We we're talking about parenting and kids, and you know all this other stuff. And uh, I look over and I see someone at the table. Lisa's doing some ink, working on the ink. And so I go, I, I got to run. Someone's at the table. I walk over, and all of a sudden, as I walk over, who comes into the picture? Dun -dun. But your dad. Yep, my dad and his wife drove up from Savannah to uh, meet with us. Um, I don't know what they were, what else they were going to do, if anything. But they uh, they came up Friday afternoon. Uh, One doesn't need anything else to do but go to a pen show. Oh, that's new for them. Um, Nancy actually bought a pen and some cartridges for a couple pens she already has. But uh, she bought uh, a Delta Italiana. Yeah, nice. She's nice having pen. a time with that. So. But uh, yeah, then we, we went to dinner with uh, Dad and Nancy, and, and that was nice. Nancy and I um, figured out it had probably been 10 years since we'd seen each other. Usually Dad just makes the trip. Yeah, and uh, and we ate at the, the hotel there. Mm -hmm. Salmon was very good. It was very good. Um, yep. A good meal and a couple glasses of wine. And, uh, and we were done. And we were done, yeah. It was... <laughs> Because we'd been up since Thursday morning, so it was it was nice actually to be able to just uh, relax, but not feel under pressure because you know we were with family and we um, we didn't have to be um, I don't know what's the word awake. <laughs> awake. Yeah. yeah. But uh, no, it was it was good to get caught up. No, it was fun, and uh, and your dad was all spiffy, he's all dressed up in his. You know, I'm I'm sure that that it's it's a new thing. You don't yeah. want to show up and you know like t-shirt like shorts. a bum. Well, my parents never looked like a bum. No, I know, I know. They were fine. <laughs> he was just dressed better than I, I'm used to seeing him. So, uh, no, that was that was that was nice. And then uh, we uh, we hit the hit the road to back to the to the room. Um, a nice nice little place, and uh, got to passed bed out. and um, passed out. Passed out, yeah. So 6.30, 6.30 a.m. <laughs> comes Saturday is the big day. Yep. Um, and we, we, you know, it's a security and everything, so we're, we're all good to go. And uh, yeah, Which I, we love. I, I don't know that there's a whole lot to say about Saturday. It was um, reasonably reasonably steady all day. It was, and, it was uh, decently busy. There were a couple slumps during which everybody's kind of looking around, like, what happened? Did they close the doors? Uh, then it would pick right up. Um, right. I didn't hear that anyone uh, had anything stolen. I didn't hear of any problems. Uh, wow. I thought overall it was it was a, a very good show. Um, you know, we got to see some people we only see a couple times a year, so that was great. Yeah. Um, so we should we should give some props up um, right away, I guess. Um, okay. Uh, Heath from Pen Paper Ink Letter uh, showed up, so it was really cool to finally meet Heath. Um, and we, we chatted for, for quite a while yep. uh, in between all sorts of things. And then, of course, none other than... Oh, my God! Hang on. Wait a minute. <laughs> Mr. Brad Dowdy, the pen addict himself. Uh, Brad Dowdy in the house. And, uh, and, and bearing gifts... Oh man, that was so cool! So, in fact, um, I had, we had one for him too. We did, we did. So, uh, Brad was uh, was looking for uh, a Field Notes America the Beautiful, and uh, we had uh, one, a couple left. So, yeah. um, 
He got one of those. He, he got to take home some America the Beautiful. And then he just drops in our lap. He just pulls out his bag and he starts throwing stuff on the on the on the table. It's awesome. So you've got a little man who just starts throwing stuff on the table. So why don't you show what you've got? I got fun stuff. Um, what do you call these prototypes or? Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what you call them. They may be maybe the prototypes. I don't know. First run. No, I'm not sure. Uh, from Brad's new venture, the Knock Company. So here we have the. I forgot the name of it. Which one do you have there? The Lookout. The little one. The Lookout. Lookout, yeah. These are so well made. I'm so excited. Um, got the little tag over here. Holds three pens. Open it up. Super pretty color. And then, let's see if I can get it close enough. It's got stitching so that it's divided into three sections. Very cool. It's re really, really durable, durable material, too. So. Yeah. Super, super nice. Um, comes in a, you know, the, the cute, cute little packaging. Uh, this one is even better. All right, let's see if the packaging. This one is so cool. And which one is this? I think it's the brass town. Brass town. Brass town. So it looks like a pencil case. Then you open it up. And this rolls out. Wrong way. Yeah, I'll do that. Yeah, look at that. Is that cool or what? And that it's attached. That is so cool. And you it's can fit uh, yeah. six six pens in there, and then who knows any and all sorts of other stuff in there. You can fit uh, erasers or uh, yep. ink vial uh, or what have you. His uh, his not co partner Jeff brought his wife Rachel, and Rachel had one of these fully loaded, and this is cool. So yeah. this one is mine. Yeah. I have all sorts of cool stuff to, to put in here. Uh, it also occurred to me, uh, ladies, that this would be great not just for pens, but also for um, makeup brushes and, and <laughs> don't kill me, Brad. I'm just thinking multi-purpose here. Uh, makeup brushes, uh, makeup all in one compact place. Um, these are really, really great for travel. Very cool. All right, so you got those two, and then I did. I have two to show too, and this 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 is killer. I know you have been drooling over these for so long. Ever since I saw this, I wanted this. So here it is. It's uh, it's rectangular. I'm gonna take take the sleeve off here. This is a, a really a really attractive dark uh, gray material on this one. Um, pocket size, a little bigger than pocket size, and nice beautiful bright blue on the inside. And I've got a flap over here, and you can fit three pens in here. And then over on the right side, there's a pocket here to fit field notes. Well, uh, so you can stick your, your field notes notebook or a small pocket notebook fits in there, and three pens. And you fold it up, and uh, you put it in your bag or your back pocket or something, and it's good to go. So this one is the um, this is the high tower. Love this one. And then we have one more. This is uh, this is the, Lisa wanted this. I kept telling her she just wanted it because of the name. Uh, it's also the same same size. Uh, this one happens to be an orange, bright orange color. Uh, this is called the sassafras. <laughs> you kind of have to say it like that. The sassafras, sassafras. Um, and it's got two flaps, two sides. One side's got three thinner uh, sides for the pens, and the other side has two larger side uh, two slots. Uh, you can put. Uh, uh, some people can, you can put a knife in there. You can put uh, multiple pens in there. Um, that way, Very well made. Yeah, you can put in, in, anything you want in these things, and then they just they just fold in half, and that's all it is. So this is like a really bright orange on the outside, and a different shade of orange on the inside. And Very cool. Real nice. That's the sassafras. Um, but this high tower is great. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna load this up tonight and uh, take it to work with me tomorrow. But uh, real nice. Just I'm real real pleased with. Be able to get one of these is really cool. So uh, we got to see Brad, and he dropped those off for us. And then uh, we got to hang out with uh, Brad and his partner Jeff, uh, with Rachel, with Heath, a uh, bunch of other people. 
uh, during the Pen Addict uh, get together, and we just had a blast. Yeah, so it was uh, it was supposed to be five to seven, and ended up being till about eight thirty because we just kept we stood up to talk, <laughs> and then it was another forty five minutes. And going. Um, had some appetizers, a couple of uh, malt beverages. Um, actually, I think I had one, and then that that was that one that did me in. Um, but uh, yeah, Saturday's a pretty action action packed day, I think, and. Uh, a uh, little food in in us, and then it was uh, it was time to to hit the the, the sack and, and uh, go at it Sunday again. So um, Sunday, I don't I don't know what to say about Sunday. You would uh, how would you describe Sunday? You know, Sunday at a pen show, they either seem to be really good or really bad. Um, I thought that Sunday was was really pr quite good. Um, sometimes Sundays just drag. Um, a lot of people don't go to a pen show until after church, uh, after you've fulfilled all your family obligations. You can kind of sneak away for a couple hours. But I thought that it was pretty well uh, trafficked for pretty much the whole day. Mm -hmm. um, a little bit of, of vendors kind of trading and, and buying first thing in the morning. Um, but I, I didn't feel that there were any big lulls. I mean, sometimes on a Sunday, you really are just kind of sitting around or or kind of looking around trying to, to make something to do. And I, I didn't feel that it was that way at all. I thought that uh, we had decent traffic and uh, Well, you know, that that was that was a day to at least in the morning anyway, to get out and, and, and chat with some of the other folks and mm -hmm. um, we hadn't hadn't had much of a time to, to talk with Ryan Krusak, uh, Krusak Studios. Uh, Pendleton Brown of course was there and so we, we Got some time in the morning to chat with him, and um, well, and you can't forget Brandon. Of course, Brandon. Yeah. Modern chocolatier Brandon Lee. He uh, goes to shows with uh, Ryan this year. Yeah. And uh, ladies, I gotta tell you, you need to go and see Ryan's pens and have some of Brandon's chocolate. It's to die for. He pairs these flavors that you don't really think would go. Like there's a tobacco vanilla or something, and there's a mango habanero, but it's just really yummy. You know, the disadvantage to them being in the other room is, is we did not get like any leftover like chocolate. We didn't get the chocolate like we did. We get the chocolate. Baltimore. I got some oh. chocolate. You got some. You, you did. You didn't I tell me that. Well, I just didn't share. All right. I just got little samples. I well, brought Rachel over and introduced her, and it was good. But you know, I bought you a pen on uh, Sunday morning. Was it Sunday morning? You did? I did. Actually, we bought each other pens on Sunday morning. You bought me a Lamy. I bought you an Omas. Yeah, so, I mean, it was... It, it was maybe fun. we should take a poll in the chat. Who got the better end of the deal? I got a Lamy. Brian got an Omas. No, no, no this, is, this is the... Do you have it? Oh, you probably have it in your purse downstairs. Um, it's, it, it's well, probably the limited edition for 2000. 12, I think. I have your pen in my purse. No, 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 no. The Lamy. Oh, yes. Yeah. The neon green. The neon green. Uh, and this one's still got the sticker on it. Um, so it, 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 it's a really cool color. And I saw it sitting on the table, uh, a friend of ours, and I said, I got, I got to have that. I got to have that for Lisa. So yeah. uh, I got that. And uh, then we were looking at uh, another table, uh, and uh, there was a pen there I just kind of had to have. But then Lisa says, "Well, I'll get it to you for our anniversary." <laughs> so, sure. And there was, you know, in, anytime you walk into a room, especially early in the morning when there when there are a lot of dealers present, and then there's a lot of people in front of a table, whatever you're doing, you need to go to that table. That, that, that's a little clue, um, um, because that means something's going on at that table. And and sometimes it's it's no big deal. Sometimes it's a huge deal. I mean, I've been places where uh, we've been to shows that somebody's doing essentially an estate collection sell-off, and yep. it's been people like, you know, just grabbing. I mean, I've seen people just grab stuff in hands and then, you know, fistfuls of pens and then look at them later, um, kind of like the, the fun pen hospital stuff. But uh, So there's this grouping of people around there. They said, well, let's take a look. The guy's setting out pens, and sure enough, there's this Omos Paragon, and it's in this, what do we call this, eggplant? Yeah, it's gorgeous. The eggplant with the, the dark, I guess, I don't know if this is uh, what you would call this trim. 
but uh, it's it's dark trim. It's not it's not like nickel, but it's a eggplant. It's a big pen, um, and uh, it's this gorgeous color. Yeah, and the, the trim is really is perfect. It's really perfect. Um, this dark, dark. I don't know, ruthenium or uh, rhodium. I, I can't. Forgive me. I don't know. I don't know how to describe the trim. It's just gorgeous. Um, metal section. Uh, nice 18 karat nib. Uh, but it looked like the nib was tweaked a little bit. So I took it over to Mike Matsuyama and he looked at it, and uh, and he and he fixed it up for me. So it's really a nice. It's a piston filler. Big. It's just like I have another one like this that's right now is sitting in Italy. Uh, so waiting for that one to come back. But uh, medium nib. Uh, nice, beautiful color. It's uh, very pretty. So we got that for a nice price. The one in Italy is black. The one this in Italy, one, yes, is yes. black with a sterling uh, sterling section. And this one is 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 that plumber eggplant. It's this just, one, yeah, the color is just gorgeous. You can't tell on the screen. You can't see it's very just, well on the screen, and I know Wayne hates it when we do that. But sorry, Wayne. Sorry, Wayne. Um, uh, but the, the color, just think a nice deep eggplant purple. It's just gorgeous. Yeah, it's just it's just and then if you, and it's not just a solid color either. It's it's really interesting. You look at it That's in a, the light. There's some depth uh, to it. It's there is there, there's like a little marbling, a almost a little swirl in it. Maybe I should have it. I don't think so. It's too big for you. <laughs> um, anyway, and, so we got that now. Now the problem is is now that means I have to give up the 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 Optima. Um, that uh, Lisa bought for me. Um, well, it was the wrong nib anyway. But it's an Aurora. That means I get it. Yeah, but you, you, you've already openly admitted that the uh, you hate the color. Yeah. My, my, my other Paragon has a fine nib. No. I don't, I don't know if you knew that. It's fine. Okay. <laughs> it's fine. That's fine. Oh, working. Primavera. That's fine. Well, what does that mean? Does that mean I can have the pen? <laughs> no. What do you mean no? Anyway. Anyway. Oh, it means I'm in trouble. Is what that means. Um. So anyway, so so that that was cool. That was pretty much about the the extent of the the pen buying. But we did buy some ink. We did buy some ink. So you we found a you found. It, I saw it, some. I'm setting. I'm setting up. Lisa goes, give me money. <laughs> <laughs> Just, you know. I don't think it was quite that bad. I said, no, it was probably worse. I, said, I need money. I need money. Uh, a man next to us, a uh, man who had the table next to us, had some vintage ink. So I'm not going to say anything. I'm just going to hold this up. And I'm going to let y'all in the chat drool. Washable Peacock Blue. Number 112. Number 112. They don't make this anymore. It's a gorgeous color. Um, I snagged five bottles of this and one of the purple. And they are still in absolutely beautiful, beautiful shape. Looks like they're um, a little bit gone there, maybe? Uh, part of it's up in the... Um, oh, it's in the well. Yeah, it's okay. in the well. These are the uh, the bottles with the old built-in well, the ones everybody wants. Well, no, the, the, these are from the 50s. And I think if you, if you look at the... Um, uh, if you look at the box, it talks about the snorkel on the on the flaps. If you open the top top of the box, I'm on the flap, the it talks about. Throw away your ink wiper. Use Shaper Snorkel Pen. It's the cleanest pen in the world. Point never needs wiping. There you go. So. Um, I do usually. Paul has a good point. When I buy ink, it's usually by the trunk fill. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, so I got I don't know fiber. Six, five bottles of the Peacock Blue and one of uh, Washable Purple, and I am very excited. So, cool. So you yeah. got that, and uh, you know she's she's kind of walking like that with the whole bunch of it, and and that was on that was Friday, I think mm -hmm. it was Friday, right? Yeah, 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 it was early, and then Brian decides to outdo me. I didn't outdo you. Well, now hang on, hang on, just hang on a second. I'm not going to outdo you yet. Um, I walked into the other room and, and I'm I'm looking at uh, um, this table. This guy set some stuff up. He's got some desk sets, and then all of a sudden I see this. And and if you listened for any length of time, you know I love these bottles. Oh yeah, that's right. So it's it's a it's an old the old style Mont Blanc bottle, 
but it has this particularly interesting shade of green in the bottle. Ah. Um, this is when Brian came running back going, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. You know, and, and I don't even remember what I paid for it. It doesn't matter. Uh, but I'm pretty sure this is Mont Blanc Raising Green. He was um, so uh, excited. And, and, and it goes really well inside the, the new Paragon. Green and purple. Green and purple. It's a, it's a lovely shade of, of green. It is. Very pretty. In fact, uh, I think we tested a customer's um, pen or something. I tested my, my pen. Oh, <laughs> I know it got used for something. I don't know. Something. As long as it wasn't uh, my ink. So, yeah, so that was cool. And then on, um, on Sunday... And I, I hadn't, I hadn't, I had not seen this until that very moment. Believe it or not, all weekend long, he's right there at the end of the table, and there's this this display, and it's what would you say? It's about two feet. Uh, it's it's probably eighteen inches to two feet tall. It's a round uh, carousel. About a foot in diameter. And, and it has five slots on each, it has five slots. And each slot holds, is that right, five slots? I think it's got more than that. It holds 50 bottles of ink. 50 bottles of Sanford's Pennant ink. And these are the cute little bottles. Um, they're kind of like little chiseled. I don't, I don't happen to have one with me, but uh, uh, they're very similar to about this size. This is a, this is a small Aurora bottle. Um, but they're about this size, and uh, and they have little chiseled glass, beveled glass on them, and uh, yep. they come in all sorts of different colors. And all the bottles are full. The whole display, full bottles of it. So we brought it home. Well, you know, no, see, here's the thing. So we're looking at it. I'm thinking, okay, well, the price is price is right, but you know, the guy's like, how? You know, I, I don't want to take this home. And I'm thinking, okay, well. If you don't want to take it home, that means <laughs> <laughs> that means I need to get it for a really deal. And so I'm thinking, I'm like, okay, well, I just threw a number out there, and he's like, well, can we meet in the middle? I'm like, absolutely. And I I didn't think he was going to take it, and and it worked out. Everybody was happy. Uh, Lisa yelled at me. I put it under the table. We forgot about it until uh, at the end of the end of the show. Until it's time to pack up, man. Hey, I it, please. It it was there was a perfect spot. In it, um, in uh, in the car, in the back seat, perfect it, spot it, for it. It fit fine. It did. But of course, keeping in mind that we acquired um, a boatload of pens from Yaffa, and of course their boxes keep getting bigger and bigger, and we acquired another sixty or so Schaefer's vintage new old stock Schaefer's and. Yep. Some other amazingly cool stuff, including a vintage Visconti. Uh, actually, two vintage two. Viscontis. Yeah. Uh, um, some Bexleys, a, some some really cool stuff. I didn't even I didn't even really look at the Bexleys but that much, but these things take up space. So we, you know, whatever we sold, we didn't really gain any extra room for the way home. So. No, but uh, but I tell you, once I get around taking pictures of the, the, the Visconti Titanic, uh, uh, really, really, it's this blue. I wish it wasn't so big that I could just keep that. Well, it's Titanic. It's big. Well, I get that. Beautiful blue it's and beautiful. it looks like the Patrician, really. I know. What nib is on it? Uh, I think it's an extra double quadruple broad stub. Oh, that means it might. I might like it. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's gorgeous. It's one of it's the, nice. Uh, it, it was a limited edition. Yeah. Um, several years ago, and then we also got uh, in that bunch. There's a Visconti Kaleido demonstrator. Yeah, it's demonstrators. It's not the one I want. Yeah, I know it's not the one you want. Listen, I can only do so much. <laughs> <laughs> I can only do so much. Um, but. Uh, yeah, so those those two those two Viscontis, we got a bunch of really cool uh, vintage Schaefer's, um, some Wall Eversharps. I mean, just just some cool stuff. So, I, in fact, I didn't even look. At, I honestly, I, I didn't look at it. Just I, I took the box. Boom, done. Yep. Um, but uh, so we'll get to that this week. But uh, but yeah, so there's another sixty pens that we picked up. So you know, Brian. Um, 
comes back to the table with this this display full of ink, and it, you know individually that's fine. It it really was. It was a cool display. It's it's going to be really great. Um, come in and see it at the store. But part of the other problem was everybody is so nice and everybody is so sweet and everyone has been so amazingly helpful and thoughtful and generous since we've opened the store and we also were given oh, yeah. this big huge two-story uh, online pen display filled with filled pens. With pens. Yeah. yeah so this thing is big this box was big so we've got that big box, we've got the ink display, we've well, got The thing all holds like, it, it, what, 50, 75 pens? Probably, one, two, three, four, five, probably 10 dozen pens. Yeah, it's a lot. Yeah. So that, and, and uh, we also picked up uh, a bunch of other, I don't know, a bunch of other stuff. Yeah, so I'm, for, I'm forgetting all the stuff we picked up, but... Uh, we, uh, we had a lot of... Um, space that we uh, kind of tucked things into nooks and crannies to uh, make it in the car. So, well, we'll, uh, we'll be getting out uh, some some of the stuff that we picked up. We're going to be making a concerted effort to, yes. uh, to, to, to make them available. Uh, I know not everybody can come into the store. Uh, we wish you could, uh, but... Um, Tracy's going to come up over the summer for a sleepover. She should. She should. At least while we have the uh, those that uh, Titanic Visconti. But, uh, They'd make a great pillow. It would make a great pillow. <laughs> Night, nightstick, maybe, or walking there you stick. Go. It's a huge, huge pen. But... There you go. Anyway, uh, what else? Um, so we bought pens. We bought ink. We bought more pens. Um, no... No road, no road troubles, really. Um, no what weird was our people. funny adventure? Uh, we had one weird person at a gas station again. <laughs> Maybe we just need to not go to gas stations. Uh, I, I was a little scared there for a minute because this woman just gets out of her car and starts yelling at a guy in a truck <laughs> as the guy is pulling out of the gas station. Yeah, it was a little bit scary. She's like, don't you go walking away from me. And she's like, I, I don't know. I'm just pumping gas. It's all it was I'm weird. I mean, yeah going to get in the car as soon as possible. <laughs> um, yeah, no, it was it was really uneventful trip. In fact, I was I was quite awake for most of it. So uh, we we got one hour of sleep on the way down, uh, the way back. Um, the we way back's twice. always really rough. Yeah, it's tougher. We stopped a couple times, um, uh, but uh, we we pulled into Appleton about one thirty. Um, about a half hour to unload, which is cool because we could park right in front of the store, and uh, and that was that. So I got to work and yeah, all's good. It. So and here we are. Um, should we move on to something else real quick? Yes, somebody in the chat is asking about um, the Boston Pen Show. The Boston Pen Show last year was um, Father's Day weekend. Um, the Former organizer is no longer, he, he's choosing to no longer organize it. It's a lot of work for one person. Which is why he's uh, the former organizer? What? Which he's is former. why he's the former organizer? Yes, yes. So a group of the uh, Boston Pen Club people have gotten together and they have reformed what will now be the Commonwealth Pen Show. And it is the September... 12th, 13th, and 14th, and it is at the, I think it's, I don't have it in front of me, uh, I think it's the Holiday Inn in Dedham, Mass. Okay. So, new hotel, much easier to get in and out of, much easier to find, uh, much easier parking, so I know that that was an issue for the attendees, um, and apparently they have more people committed already than people attended last year. Yeah, and as, as soon as we get more information, we'll we'll let you know. So, yep. um, but it uh, that's the scoop with that, and uh, we're excited to be uh, a part of that. We had a good time last year. Yeah. Yep. So uh, there's that. Um, I had uh, an Esterbrook thing I was going to talk about this week, but I think we're gonna we're gonna hold off on that for a little bit. Uh, we should mention 
Um, the the 100th podcast. We uh, should coming up next week. Oh my god, that's so. Um, cool. I mean, what what do we need to say here? Like, just get your entry in. Get um, your entry people. in now. Mail um, it tonight. Tonight um, is uh, the tax deadline. Mail it tonight. Oh, that's right. Tonight's tax deadline. That's right. Um, grand prize, Franklin Kristoff, 03. It's so cool. Um, Very cool. Iterium. Somebody's going to win it. Somebody's going to win it. Yeah. Uh, it's got a beautiful blue disc in the in the cap. Um, super nice pen. It has the, the threads at the end of the section, so it's really comfortable to hold. Mm -hmm. um, decent size. It posts well. Um, you know, what do you... <laughs> What more could you ask for? It's a $165 pen, and here's all you have to do. You have to write in, um, I'll give you the address right here, Anderson Pens, 100th Podcast Giveaway, 10 East College Avenue, Suite 112A, Appleton, Wisconsin, 54911. Um, send us a, a postcard, a letter, it must have 100th Podcast somewhere on it, preferably, you know, I mean, if, if you just write the address, you, you, you qualify. Uh, you must write it in a fountain pen. You must tell us what pen and ink you used for it. Yes. Um, and that's it. That's all you have to do. Mail yep. it in, and then you have and you to, must be um, present to you win. You must be present to win. So I, I, I'm not sure how we're going to do that yet. We haven't quite figured that out, uh, but we're working on it. Uh, and, and we're working on a special guest. Yes, a uh, yeah. special guest who uh, I was uh, trying to get in touch with today. Um, special guest will hopefully be present for the uh, the podcast. Oh um, we so also have a number of other uh, prizes to give away. Bunches and bunches. Several pens, uh, a couple bottles of ink, some notepads, some paper, uh, all sorts of cool stuff. Some leather, uh, leather cases. Uh, you know, we're just we're adding to this thing almost every day. So, um, get it in, and you've got a week, and it'll be next week, Tuesday, April twenty second. Uh, and we're going to start it at uh, are we going to start at eight p.m. or seven p.m. If we have the special guest, should we start it at seven? Uh. Depends on what the guest needs to. Uh, what the guest needs. Okay, so uh, I apologize. We we don't know what time it's going to be yet. <laughs> I think it should probably be eight. Well, I was thinking. I was thinking if we, if we had a special guest, we we might want to devote more time. Well, that's true. To the guest. Possibly. Possibly. Okay, we'll so um, in, in this guest, stay we tuned. definitely yeah. Stay tuned. This guest, we definitely if if we can get need this time. Spot, we need time. Uh, oh yeah. Uh, eight. Um, we'll make eight, a decision. We'll, it, it, we'll make a decision. This obviously this next week. So, but, but anyway, get your thing in. And and be just send me show. a postcard. Send a letter. Send a note. We have gotten some awesome, awesome entries. Um, I don't see that John N is in the chat, but uh, we we've gotten some really creative, really fun. Um, Entries, some great postcards, um, even even the ones that just say, "Here's my entry," and you know, name and address. Depending on the ink or the way you've written it, they've all been really, really awesome. I'm, you know, my mailman is having a blast. In fact, he's um, bringing in these stacks of mail every day, and uh, he started to sort them. He goes, "Okay, here are your contest entries. Here are your regular mail." So it's it's kind of cute. Yeah, so, um, yeah, I guess we have a vote in the chat here that says the 100th show needs to be longer, but we'll see. Um, we'll see. I'm, I'm, work, I'm working on something, too, in, in all my spare time, right? Uh, i got something else. You working uh, on the bloopers? The, no, I wasn't going <laughs> to say it, but yes, thank you for saying that. Um, I do have some some very early, early bloopers oh. when we were pre-recording the show. Look, I'm blushing already. You're blushing. You don't even know what I have. You have no idea what I have. I remember some of those. I have some great stuff. <laughs> I also have some not family-friendly stuff, too. So I won't play those. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, um, so there it is. Uh, that's next week. Don't miss it. Uh, it's going to be fun. I, I don't... I have, I have no idea what, how we're going to do this, what we're going to do, but we got a bunch of stuff we're going to give away. Uh, yes. And there's supposedly more stuff coming in the mail. Yes. Um, yes. So we'll, 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 we'll see. Uh, uh, like, maybe two more pens are coming? I'm not sure. Supposedly? 
Perhaps, yes. We, Perhaps we so. have I mean, all these things that, that people have uh, committed to sending, and so, um, you know, I'm, I'm not sure. Whatever arrives by Tuesday afternoon is what we're going to give away. Okay. Um, we've got everything in a big box, and... Uh, well, it depends how generous I'm feeling that day, too. I mean, just... Uh, there you go. Put Start some more stuff in there. You're not getting my Omas, though. No. Nope. No, but uh, you could... This is a good segue into what's new and modern on the site, right? You could win dun, 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 one of the new Pelican Edelstein Color of the Year Garnet. Are we giving that away? This is news to me. We could. We'll see. We'll see we what could. else we have in the... Uh, we might. Now you're just being mean. You're just teasing people. Well, we could at least give samples because I want to play with this stuff. This is right, right. cool. So Edelstein Garnet. Edelstein Garnet Ink of the Year for this year. Uh, it says extra soft ink on the back. I've never seen oh, that. I one. like soft ink. So, anyway, uh, that's new. That's up on the site, yes? Yes, absolutely. Okay. Yep. Ready to go. Awesome. <laughs> oh, there's John. John, yeah, John, your entry was very cool. <laughs> so, very creative. So, uh, what else? Aziz of the Ink is on the site. Garnet, it's very cool. I'll get the um, I'll get the swab up uh, there you go, Carl. the next day or two. But uh, what else? We've got a bunch of stuff that we've gotten yeah, in. We just yeah, like I say, I mean, we got like thirty different new, thirty or forty <laughs> different new things. Um, Kenny just kept saying, "Oh, you need some of these. You need some." Yeah, every time I go past the table, he's like, "Well, yeah, I think you should have this." Well, you know, and then we're not going to see him for a couple of months, so I know. But uh, no, we get we got a bunch of new stuff. I'm, uh, we'll get it up all, over time. Um, after this week, it will be a much, uh, oh, much yes. easier after for this week to get, will be to get much stuff better. up. So uh, mm -hmm. we'll talk about that next week. We have a lot to uh, to do in the next couple of weeks. We've got I, I, I a lot of just, things. I think we should just say it's going to be seven o'clock next week. There's just next week's show is just going to be. Okay. That's what I'm thinking. So, All right, let's just make a decision. Seven o'clock. Seven o'clock. Let's do it. Seven o'clock next week. Um, so all of you that are in the chat tonight have an in on that. There you go. So very cool. All right, uh, let's wrap it up. I think. Yeah, um, this cold is kicking my butt. Uh, you got some shout outs? Uh, you know, nothing really organized. Just everybody who was at the uh, Atlanta Pen Show. You guys were awesome, Jimmy and Janice and little Susie Q. Um, oh, we met a, a pen guy who actually went to Lawrence and knows exactly where the store is. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, that was fun. Um, definitely a big shout-out to Ryan and Brandon and mm -hmm. Ryan's wife and kids. Um, Brad and Jeff. and Oh, absolutely, Brad and Jeff and Rachel. I love Rachel. She's great. I'm so glad we got to meet. Now, I, was I hearing things, or, the, or is Jeff and Rachel thinking about coming to Wisconsin? I do believe Jeff and Rachel are considering a trip to Wisconsin. I'm trying to get them to move here. <laughs> get them to move here. <laughs> Not company down the Not street. Not company adjacent to Anderson Pads. How freaking cool would that be? Yeah, I don't think that's going to happen. I know. They they don't like the cold. No, it's okay. Um, <laughs> other than that, I honestly didn't write anybody down and... and with the cold, everything's just kind of a big blur. Um, Tom Bailey, it was good to see Tom Bailey. Oh yeah, yeah. He was, he's always so funny. He's great. He's a nice he's a nice guy. So sweetheart of a guy, absolutely, absolutely. Uh, um, you, you know you know who we should give a shout out to. Um, kind of post mortem. Uh, oh, is it this weekend? It is this weekend. Uh, a All year right. ago, uh, I think this weekend, uh, Frankie Tedesco left us. Um, well, it was two weeks uh, after, was it? Yeah, two weeks week after, after. But I, I always remember it because it was it was a week after the the Atlanta show. So, yeah. So. Longtime pen collector, big Astrobrook guy, um, short in statue stature, um, big in a heart. Yeah. So, so. He was uh, he was a trip. Always had a smile on his face. He did. That gruff kind of whiskey voice and yeah. So, so that's pretty sad. Um, who well, else? Terry, Terry, Terry May Hoarder. I'm just yes. On there, uh, Jim Rouse, uh, who was there. Mike Masayama, of course. 
Well, Jim was there alone. Um, Scott ended up staying home. Uh, his wife was overseas on a trip and she got sick and so he didn't want to just leave the kids with Tammy feeling sick so he stayed home and so Jim ran their tables all by himself so he gets big points for that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Jimmy, Bert Olzer of course. Uh, was oh, also Bert's there. great. Um, can't, yeah. can't forget Bert. Um, Never. Yeah. We had a good time. He's a probably, trip. Probably a dozen other people were, were forgetting. Um, uh, I know we should we should always make a list, but it just doesn't work. No, I keep thinking I'll remember, and then we get home and I'm brain dead. Anyway, um, there see. it is. I'm trying to think if there's anything else new and exciting uh, that perhaps we've restocked. We've gotten in a bunch of new sailors. Um, Ahabs and Conrads tonight. Oh, boatload um, of Ahabs and Conrads. Probably ten minutes after. The yeah, bunches and bunches uh, just got restocked. This huge box arrived. Um, General Amidex. Restocked to Mont Blanc Inc., uh, Amidex, all, you know, boring stuff. But yeah, uh, Size 17 sacks for whatever reason. It was really hot for a while. <laughs> <laughs> whatever. So anyway, just check out the anyway. website. We've got lots of uh, restocked stuff and uh, a lot, a lot of new stuff coming in. So, so check it out. All right. Uh, anything else? That's it. I think it's time to uh, have some more tea and go to bed. All right. Uh, comment and suggestions for topics, use your pens. Write to us at Anderson Pens, P.O. Box 732, Appleton, Wisconsin, 54912. Or pop into the store, and this is also where you send in your contest entry. 10 East College Avenue, Suite 112A, Appleton, Wisconsin, 54911. Or catch us online, email brian at andersonpens.net. Or you can send me an email at lisa at andersonpens.net. You can follow us on Twitter, twitter.com slash andersonpens. Our Facebook page is facebook.com slash andersonpens. And check that out. We're going to have some interesting things coming up very soon. Calligraphy class, uh, special guest in the store, all sorts of cool stuff. Um, yes, very soon. Uh, blog, blog.andersonpens.net. And the website, andersonpens.net. Uh, join our mailing list for advanced notice of upcoming events, new products, special sales, uh, fun stuff happening at the store. Thank you very much for listening to our podcast. We will see you next week. Have a good evening. Bye, everybody.